the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can climb even further towards our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, the title, Don't Lie, we went undefeated today with sprites. And I wanted to show off my build because this is pretty much going to be the build that I play at the Boca Raton Regional on September 10th. Also, if you're going to be there, be sure to come up and say hi. Be happy to meet you and talk and take a picture and talk about how Ultra Balls are nice because this one's actually really fluffy. All jokes aside, I got this from New York and it's really, really nice as a little side note there. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into our Sprite deck profile. Real quick, I want to go through my matchups because it was four rounds at Locals and uh, it was meta filled, so it's not just, oh, you top Locals. Round one, we played against Tier Elements. Player didn't really know what they were doing. They were still learning the deck, so that was a nice little swift 2-0. Uh, round two, we played against Dino Morphia. He super polyed me game one and I could have could have played around it had I ended on Elf, Toad, and Masquerade instead of Elf, Toad, and Red, and I could have had the Masquerade. I didn't play that correctly. Uh, round three was a Sprite mirror match, and he was Salty AF afterwards, uh, which we're going to be getting into that later. Uh, so yeah, 2 0 won that, and then round four, we played against another Dino Morphia. Went to three games because game two, he decided to just destroy my asshole with uh, Summon Limit and Anti Spell at the beginning of game two. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm losing, George. Uh, and then game three, we just did a pointer of the Red Lotus, just like we did against the round two Dino Morphia player, because a pointer is broken AF. Uh, we just did a pointer, and we were able to win the game from there. So uh, <laughs> any card I'd have to say that's broken out of this deck is Super Poly. We won game one against the round four Dino Morphia player solely because of Super Poly. We went battle phase. He started to do some things. Then I go, okay, attempt into battle phase for like the third fucking time. Play Super Poly, ditch a card, take your Theresia and 4,000 attack Dino Morphia fusion, make Garou a swing for game. It was beautiful. Freaking love Super Poly. And yes, we're playing three copies of that in this deck. So let's go ahead and dive on into it here. So we're playing three copies of Nimble Beaver. Um, I made this build thinking that maybe we'd get a balance before the regional, and uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. <laughs> so if you have Divas, you can play Divas along with the Hulk. Um, I, like I said, I'm playing Super Poly, so. I wouldn't really be able to fit Hulk in because I'd have to cut something else, and I really feel like my extra deck is just tight as hell as it is. Um, so I, I really like Beaver. You know, your your end goal with this build of Sprite is to go for your end board of totally awesome with Sprite Elf and a Mascarena. Even just like Toad and Elf is still pretty solid as per usual, right? But the reason why we go for that board is because we don't want to get super polyed. And with my dog water luck in this game, my opponent's always going to have the super poly. So I play as if they're just always going to have the super poly or always have the dark ruler. Dark ruler, you're going to destroy my board. It's fucking Sprite. It happens. But if I can at least play around super poly and give you less options, the better. So Beaver is very good in that regard. It's also water that you can get back with Toad. So like sometimes if I don't really need to recur anything in my grave off of Toad. If I've got a Beaver in grave, I'll just take that, or I'll use Gigantic Sprite if I went first to summon out Beaver and make my board that way. So that way, when I get rid of Toad, I can use it to get back Beaver and have plays for the next turn. I don't have to worry about like anything that I top deck. Um, for the remainder of the deck, we play uh, three Sprite Super Saiyan Blue, as I like to call it, because it's it's blue. It looks like Super Saiyan Blue. It's it's cool. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a Stratos, but what can I say? And then we're playing three copies of Jet, because the cards are broken. One copy of Pixies. So, I want to set the record straight on this card, because nobody nobody knew what this card did. And it was freaking hilarious. So, number one, it's a Blackwing Kalut. If a level two, rank two, or late two battles, like whether it's my turn or your turn, you attack into my monster, I can go in damage calc, not damage step. Don't let people cheat you. This has to be in damage calc. I can send Pixie from hand or field to grave. My level 2, rank 2, or link 2 that is being battled with gains attack equal to your monster's attack. So essentially, you're just taking damage equal to my monster's attack. I cannot use it if I'm attacking direct. For the love of God, I had so many people telling me this. Avery, just summon out Pixies and then use it to have one of your monsters gain 1,400. That's not how it works. Like, Jesus Christ, please read the card. So it's funny, round 1, because um, I went, my the tier elements player went... Uh, Enter battle phase. I go, when you attempt to end main phase, use elf to summon blue. Blue's effect to get pixie to hand. All my monsters are in attack mode. And he's like, okay, uh, attack into your elf. I go damage count pixies. I'm like, that's game. He's like, wait, what are you talking about? I'm like, pixies. It's an honest. He goes, oh, I don't know what that card does. You got it. <laughs> this card is broken. You need to play pixies. Pixies is so broken. I love pixies. And then we're playing one carrot because it's good. And then I'm on two red because I just... I think it's really good. I don't like one red. I don't like if I'm in like a really bad spot 
that I have to like use Smasher to banish a red and not have another red. I really like having a second red. Uh, and then we're also playing three copies of DD Crow. <laughs> so fun fact, I had uh, I had one in no, did I have any in hand? No, I had none in hand. Then for three turns against the round two dynamorphic player, I went draw crow, draw crow, draw crow. I was pissed. I'm like, really? We drew three crows back to back to back. I'm like, this is dog water. Crow's really bad against the dynamorphia. Like you can hit their traps, but it's like, what else are you really hitting? Like I I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I'm ever going to go against Dynamorphia at a regional. Like, if I am, I'm probably at, like, table 305. But, yeah, you, you don't really need Crows against Dynamorphia. Then we're playing three copies of Ash, because Ash Blossom's good. Uh, and then we're also playing three copies of Swap Frog with the Rodent Toad. I'm not on Duke Frog, because, again, I'm going to get Super Poly to Helen back if I do that. Um, so... I really don't need dupe. I don't. I've had people tell me, play dupe, play dupe. I don't need fucking dupe. I really don't. The only time I'm going to use Totally Awesome's effect to go for a swap is after game one when I know you're not playing Super Poly. Or if you're playing a deck that I know for a fact doesn't play Super Poly. So, I just... I really don't feel like dupe is necessary. For the spells, we're playing three starter. Broken AF. Uh, one copy of Smasher, because... <laughs> It's good. People think that this targets when it vanishes, and it doesn't look like target. One copy of Call By, because it's good. Three copies of Triple Broken Talents. You need to play this card in your main deck. I, I do not care what, what you do in this world. You need to play three copies of Talents. It is absolutely bananas busted. So, against that Sprite Mirror. So, he played a Hand Trap during my turn. Um, he has a back row and a set monster that turned out to be Pixies, because I took it with Talents. He tried to tell me I didn't communicate effectively when it's like, bitch, you took five minutes to make your first move. Like, blow me. <laughs> so, I, uh, he, he plays his hand trap, right? I go activate triple tactics talent. He proceeds to show me his hand, which was one card and it was also talents. And I said, no, no, no. Activate talents. Response. I'm asking you for a response. You, you should not assume I'm just going to hit your hand. Because that is on fucking you if you think I'm just going to be hitting your hand. You have a back row. You might have a judgment. You might have something to stop it. I don't know what you have. Like, I'm just playing it because you played a hand trap. So, uh, before you just, like, reveal your hand and send a card back, be sure to ask your opponent, what effect are you choosing to use? And also, whenever I take control of a monster, it doesn't target. People think that that targets, it doesn't target. <laughs> so... Activate talents. Response. Which effect are you choosing to do? That way you don't get people like my Sprite Mirror Match opponent in round three who got salty because he's like, oh, you played differently as soon as you saw the talents. I'm like, bitch, no I didn't. I played as best I could because you activated a Cherries during my turn. That's what he did. He played Cherries. And then you also played Deep Barrier and called Exceed. Like, how am I supposed to play? I'm going to play to, like, make an elf and anything else that I can do. So, anyway, this card is busted as hell. You've got to play this card. And then we're also on the three Dark Ruler uh, main deck. I know some people are cutting this. I really like it because with my dog water luck in this game, as I always say, if I end up going second, I'm going to blow you out of the water. This this never came up, though, today out of all four rounds. Another broken-ass card. Three copies of Super Poly. <laughs> this card is disgusting. It's so good. So in the round, what was it, round four, game one against Dinomorphia, I go, enter battle phase. He's got, like, three or four or five back rows, something like that. He's like, okay, activate a trap, make a Dynamorphia fusion, do plays. So he ends on Theresia, the Dynamorphia fusion has 4,000 attack, and, like, three back row. I'm like, okay, attempt to enter battle phase again. Yeah. Activate uh, Super Poly Ditch Jet. Okay, take your stuff, make Garua attack for game. You're at 1825 life. He's like, yep. Every time I lose, they have the, the GD, uh, what do you call it? The GD Super Poly. I'm like... I mean, it's, it's how it is, bro. It's how it is. Super Poly broken as hell. And then for the last traps, we're playing three copies of Infirm because it's good. I'm not on the enemy controller hype. I tried it. I just didn't really like it. It's mostly just good in the mirror match. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the extra deck. We're playing two copies of Sprite Elf. So, a little fun fact. I pulled this elf and I swapped out my other one because it looked just like this one. But this one's actually a little bit lighter. Like, the ink didn't go all the way through. So, this one kind of looks like a little mini ghost rare while this one looks normal. So, anyway, a little fun fact there. Uh, and then same with the gigantic sprite. This one's a little bit brighter because that's the one I pulled today. And then, you know, yeah, we're playing two sprite. So it's it's, it's good. What can I say? Uh, one copy of Toad. One copy of Sky Calve because it's good. One copy of Cat Shark because I like the OTK. One Downard and one Zeus. People have been telling me to cut Downard. Downard is just too damn good. I don't like where I'm in situations where, like, I summon Sky Calv and I'm forced to use the effect to get rid of a problematic card that, like, I can't Zeus away. And then just having Zeus with, like, 
two materials. Like, I love having a four material Zeus. It's just, it's too good. Um, Ampelosa came up once today. I made it have three materials. App is good. I really like App. Same goes for Access Code. Um, Access Code is just disgusting. And then same goes with the Mascarena, Dark, Mud Dragon, and Garua were our um, Super Poly targets. Um, I summoned them like once each today. And then fun fact, when I did do Super Poly on uh, the branded Tier Elements player, I went Super Poly, take your Alubar and uh, Mirror Jade. I go Summon uh, Mud Dragon, and he goes Alubar Effect to target. I'm like, this can't be targeted. And he thought that the way that it worked was that it couldn't be targeted after you use its effect to change its attribute. No, that's not how it works at all. Mud Dragon, just at a base value, cannot be targeted by card effects. It's just when I change the attribute, it makes monsters of that same attribute untargetable and can't be destroyed by card effects. So, read, read your cards, folks. I understand how like it can seem confusing because of how it's worded, but at its base value, even if you do not change the attribute, it can't be targeted. Um, and then, like I said with Mascarena, the end board is usually like Toad and Elf with Mascarena. Uh, just because it gives you options. So, really, really good. I really, really liked it. Garua is just disgusting. And then for the side deck, we're playing one Pancratops. This should probably be a Red Resonator, but, I mean, even if it were to be a Red Resonator, it never came up. Like, I'm not sitting there for 10 minutes trying to figure out a turn. My round 3 Sprite player bugging was, but uh, Pancratops is good for, like, anything that's rogue. Then we're playing three copies of Giant Ball Sacks. This card is so damn good. People have been telling me to take this out. I'm like, no, it's it's too good. It's way too good. One copy of Feather Duster, because I don't like back row. Three copies of Evenly Match, because it's broken. Uh, round two, Dynamorphia player. I opened up double Evenly. I go end of battle phase Evenly. He goes Judgment. I go chain another Evenly at the end of the battle phase. Or uh, on resolution, chain another Evenly. He deck debbied me, and I still lost, but I'm like, it's, it's good. Like, what can I say? Uh, and then three copies of Solemn Judgment and three copies of the broken new trap dust shoot. <laughs> so going first, I instantly throw in a red reboot, three judgment, and three a pointer, and hope to God I open up at least one a pointer, preferably two. And this card's just like a trap dust shoot. Like this, there's a reason why trap dust shoots, man. I don't give a damn about showing you my hand. I don't care if you know I have Ash Blossom and like a follow up in in hand because I, a pointer is just so damn good. And then one copy of red reboot, like I said, it's just it's insanity. So, guys, that is my sprite deck. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, this is probably going to be the build that I take to Boca Raton. We went undefeated 4-0 out of uh, 12 people today, and it was mostly a meta crowd. Um, I really like how the deck functions. I think that there was some plays that I could have done better, um, but I still love how it performed. Super Poly is just disgusting in this deck. Like... If you're going to be playing Sprite, I really feel like you need to be playing Super Poly because it's just so good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.